Hi, I'm Rachel May, and today we're going to talk about beer. Now, not only is beer drinking a favorite pastime because there's so many varieties to choose from, but it really makes a feeling of unwinding and relaxing. Friendships can be made over beer, foes can make up over beer. It's really an experience as much as a taste. Now, first off, all beer is made with four basic ingredients. There's hops, malted barley, yeast, and water. Now it's the kind of yeast used to make it and the temperature is used to ferment it that will determine if it's an ale or a lager. And the ratio or the treatment of the hops and barley is what makes the flavor. Some brewers even use spices, botanicals, and fruit to make their recipe unique. When tasting beer, the things to take note of are the look, the color, the head of foam, the aroma, and the flavor. So let's get into our lagers. Pale lagers, the most popular kind, are clean, subtle, and highly carbonated. Dark lagers are a little bit more medium bodied, a middle of the road beer that's great for a pizza night. Pilsners are light, but they have a slightly more bitter, distinct taste, and it's a great pairing with seafood like crab cakes and shrimp. And now for our ales. Pale ale has a distinctive bitterness that comes from the hops, and these lighter beers are great paired with spicy food so as not to compete with the bold flavors. Brown ales are medium in color, but mild in flavor. For pairings, think brown beer, brown food. These are great paired with meat dishes and mushroom gravy. Porter ales look dark and taste rich and full bodied. Some porters even taste like chocolate and they're a great pairing with a hearty beef stew or a chili. Our last ale is a stout, which is the darkest and thickest of the beers, usually with a froth on top. Now for a pairing, think a dry stout with salty oysters. When serving your beer, there's a variety of glassware to choose from. You could go with a goblet or champagne glass that'll really keep the effervescence of a lighter beer. Or you could go with a more traditional pint glass, mug, or pilsner that'll also work just as well. And here's a tip. If you put your glassware in the freezer dry beforehand, it really makes a nice frost on your glass. As you can see, beer is not just for frat boys and sports fans. A good beer can really add sophistication and flavor nuances to your night. These tips were brought to you by Shoptopia. Just what you want, right where you are.